What is up there everybody, Citrus Aviation here for yet another video and today we have another prelude to massive unboxing number 10. This time we'll be unboxing the entirety of the current generation Gemini Jets 22 gate airport. So Gemini Jets so far has made three model airports. They made the original 22 gate airport in 2009. You could buy a tone on a mat. And then they made another one around 2013, that was a 7 gate terminal and mat, and they re-released that twice, they just keep reproducing it. Because it's a really good introductory airport if you're buying or building a false airport, you can just buy the mat and the terminal, it's a really nice introduction. And now this one, this was I want to say a 2019 release of the Gemini Jets 22 gate airport it's a it is the brand new version um it's different than the old one and this is the new version yes i'll have both Gemini Jets terminals which i'm really excited about and of course the og one for me that's the one i'm most excited about but this one this is the new one and we're going to take a look at it. now um it's taller than any of the other boxes i've ever gotten so that'll be really interesting and of course there's a cylinder back there that is the uh mat and of course as started with the Gemini 200 unboxing, I'm starting to use my Emirates A380 as a scale. So you can see there's the Emirates A380 there in the corner, just a teeny little plane compared to the big boxes. So I'm going to be using the Emirates A380 as my, uh, you know, size to scale for the boxes. So let's get started. We're going to start with unboxing the main tunnel itself, and then we'll do the mat, and then we'll set it up. I'll show you how to set it up, and then yeah, we'll uh, park some planes and yeah, we'll talk about it and uh, I'll give my review and thoughts on it and then eventually I'll do a proper review of it, but this is the unboxing for the airport. So this box I was able to get from a user on eBay who was selling some of his collection and he was selling his Joey Jets airport tunnel. So I got a good deal for it. I actually just, it was by accident. I actually just put a bid on it. I, I didn't think it would be accepted because I put a bid early on. I was like, yeah, people bid up above it, but no, we did. So I got for $400 and then there was $20 of shipping. eBay tried to charge me $125 of shipping, but credit to the seller who I'll put his seller name up here. Did a great job. I really want to thank you, so Ryan, for being a really good guy to walk with. I have some model airplanes from him coming as well. Really good seller and uh, someone who uh, I've had a great pleasure walking with and you'll see those special models in an unboxing as well the special planes uh, a unique style of plane that he offers and a unique service but let's get started at the airport and really excited to open this obviously all right here we go it's ready all right, we got tons of newspaper on top. Very well protected. Looks like he's got some advertisement there for some lawn equipment and a bunch of other things. All right, let's just remove all this. And there it is, the Jerry Jets 22 gauge terminal. Let's pull this out. Really well packaged too. All right, so here's the box itself. You can see it sells the lighting and the mat. We'll take a look at the mat here in a second. But here it is, the 22 gate airport terminal set. Look at that. And this is the portion that they sell on, on the box at the retail, which is super cool. Look at that, isn't that cool? Ah, uh, yeah, it looks nice. They took some nice pictures for it too. Let me show you what the top of the box looks like. I know a lot of people are interested to see what that looks like. Top. Here is the bottom, as real as it gets. I have it upside down, but you can tell as real as it gets some features and such. So, let's take a look at it. I'm gonna move the camera up a little bit so you get a better view. Looks like you will open it from the side here, so you can do it from only this side, it looks like. Pull the tab there, pull down, and we got our stuff in here. All right, open these, and I believe these are the gates in here. Let me take a look. Pull this out and let's find out. Looks like you can't open it from the other side as well. Let's 
Oh, okay, so it's this piece and piece that holds the tunnel buildings in. So we need to pull the whole unit out. Okay, let's pull the buildings out. Here's one of our plus two center pieces. This is actually what they use for the seven gate tunnel. They use uh, one of these. Take out the second one. Let that come out, it's molding. All right, here are the gates. Yep, as I thought, all the gates in here. 22 gates, quite a bit. And then we got the rotunda, which come in this cradle here. All right, we got the seat for all the airlines. I believe this has the updated logos. Japan Airlines, um, we've got Scandinavian Air Service, KLM, some of these have been used. We've got Emirates, Boys Airways, um, Delta, current Delta titles. Yeah, I believe it does have the current ones. Eva Air, a few others. Here's what the rotundas look like in the packaging. They come in a box like this. I want to be very careful because I don't want to fall out. All right, we'll take the rotundas out. Very careful. I'll that these uh, silver pieces here on the end can break. Do not care for this. All right, here's one rotunda. The second one is just like it. All right, so for the next section, we'll need to actually go to the airport board to set up so you guys can see what it looks like. Alrighty, so here we are at the new location, and we now have the map that you could have bought alongside with the terminal. This is it right here. It comes in a little tube, and we're going to open it up. Alright, so here we go, and the mats are inside. Looks like they come in several different pieces. So here we go. It looks like we can just unroll these. And then we're going to need to put the, them on something to let them flatten out. And I'll go take care of that right now. Alright, so I have the mats laid out now. Uh, and I have some items on top of them. Just helping them, them to flatten out. So hopefully uh, we'll be back here in a few hours. And uh, we'll get the new terminal area set up. Alright, so here is the tray where all the jet bridges and such are. There's quite a few of them. We have all the pieces out, and then there's also this instruction seat for how to put the jet bridges into place. So this mat still doesn't want to stay down, so I don't know what I'm going to need to do to keep it to not want to roll up on itself, but I'll have to figure that out. But once you got your terminal pieces, you just put them over this gray area where the mat is and just line it up, and that's how they fit right there. And with your package, there are these little gray tubes, which are fitment pieces. So you put, so you put your fitment piece in here. Once you got your fitment pieces in, you line it up with the other terminal, and then you slide into place. And then they should hold together a little bit. It's not a super stable connection, but it should be just good enough to keep them from accidentally coming apart. So once we got adjusted, here's what the connection looks like. It looks pretty good. There's still a little bit of a seam there, but it's not bad. Putting the bridges together is also pretty simple. Just like that, that's all that takes. And then you just take the bridge, lined up with the peg hole right here, slide it in, and you're good to go. Your bridge can then be rotated to line up with the gate, and uh, you can put an aircraft there. In order to get access to the batteries, there's this little panel here to just pull up. And then you take your favorite pair of Duracell batteries, which are the best battery. These are double A's, you'll need two of them. Two pairs of double A's per tunnel, so eight total for the set. Just pop them in there, put the panel piece back on, which is currently being a little bit of a struggle right at the moment. Just put it back in place. And then you have your batteries in position. You just turn this button on and you have light. Take a look at how that looks. Pretty cool, eh? 
So I have the jet bridges in and here is what they look like. Just for this little section of the airport while I wait for the rest of the map to flatten out. But here's what it kind of looks like. It looks pretty good, however there are some issues such as being able to try to put the jet bridges in so that the bridge can actually fully retract outside the aircraft safety zone. Or being able to put the bridge in so you can actually extend it all the way to the bridge. So like this gate I had to use one of the wide body bridges just to get to extend far enough. And so there are some issues. And then also for example, there are these little boxes up here which tell the pilot where to stop. You can see on this gate it's pretty accurate. What about on some other gates? What about like this one? Where the little screen tells where the pilot to stop is all the way over there. Well, the line is all the way over here, so there's some inaccuracies going on with this terminal setup that make it kind of unrealistic. In addition, while the bridge is lower than the windows, like a whole level lower, like that is not realistic to real airports. The map does feature realistic aircraft parking markers right here. The detail on the map is pretty decent. It's not great. For example, the aircraft safety zone markers are still extend out farther, and they still come forward and cross just in front of the stop marks. And um, other than that, it's mostly pretty good. There are some missing things such as GSC parking area and some other details. But overall, as a basic airport mat, it does a pretty good job. So the mat doesn't want to flatten out all the way. So I'm just going to show you a little setup here. I set up with the terminal. You can see it right here. Pretty cool setup. This terminal is pretty nice, but I think I still prefer the original Gemini Jets terminal a bit more. This, this one is decent, and I think if you're looking just for a nice little model airport setup that will cost you maybe around $800, $900, this is going to be pretty good. And uh, it's a great little setup you can get. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this unboxing. I'm going to show you some beauty shots here at the end, and that'll be it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. Have a great rest of your day, and God bless you.